not opposite and alternate anymore. So what, how are they on now? They're single, right? Well, so was spruce. But how are they attached to the twig? Does it look like a little adhesive disc or something? With the needle kind of stuck on there? Like a little pad? A circular pad? In fact, if you get a twig where the needles fall off, what you'll see on the twig are circles where the, where the leaves fell off. Like a suction cup was on there. When you have a single needle attached with what looks like a suction cup or an adhesive pad, that's a fur. Any of the furs. This is white fur. Now here's the fun part. Take a needle and smash it up and smell it. Lemons? Yeah, yeah, citrusy. I just say citrusy. Yeah. Some people say orange peels, lemon, tangerine. You smell that? You gotta, you gotta break it. Pretty neat though. Nice, nice smell. That's white fur. Foliage, you see it kind of has a white cast to it. It's not white, but you see it's got that like white bloom on it again. That's white fur. Um, you don't find fur cones on the ground ever. So it would be mean for me to say, what do the cones look like? They're in the tops of the tree, so this one doesn't have any, but they break up in the tree. So you don't find all furs, so they're never on the ground. They break up. That's another good thing. Like if you, all you see is like scale, in, the, in the woods, you'd be seeing scales all over the ground. You'd be like, oh, this must be fur. The spruces and the pines don't do that. These break up. Not native. This is out in the Rocky Mountains in the western U.S. Ornamental, though. It's a nice, nice tree, actually. Is this what is known as a con color? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even in the bar on the big trees and wild out west. The, the, the bark gets splotchy with white all over it too.